Hey everybody, this is Father Christian here on The Tease, uh, the place where we tease out the scripture before we jump into it on the weekend. And here for this weekend, we're going to be in Luke 11 verses 1 through 13. Um, and Luke 11, 1 through 13 is when Jesus is going to be teaching one of the most sacred prayers, the prayer that he teaches us, which is the... Yes, the Lord's Prayer, exactly. Um, but one thing I want to tease out today to bring into you is I want to take you down to verse 8. Jesus is telling a parable of someone coming to a door and trying to get um, some help from their neighbor. And when they're doing this, they're knocking on the door, knocking on the door, knocking on the door. And the person is very, it says in the scripture, very persistent in doing this. And uh, the neighbor's like, I can't, I can't, I'm sleeping. But then Jesus says the person who keeps on knocking is going to eventually going to get the help they need, right? So this word persistence is, is interesting that actually in scripture the greek translation comes to shamelessness this word that's used it can be translated as shameless uh, and that it's only used one other time in the bible and that's like in sirach in any event i want to talk about this idea of shamelessness of when was the last time you were just shameless for god when was the last time you were shameless in your approach to god of knocking on his door and just saying my gosh i need your help i need your help i need your help and for us to think about how do we encourage more of this shamelessness that we can have of just being shameless in our in our in our desire for god in our need for god to be vulnerable and just be open and say lord i need you and not just beat around the bush but to be very open about our own brokenness and about our own needs about our own desperation at times how can you invite more of that into your life and what could be in the way of you being more shameless with god and not worrying about what people think and not worrying about what god thinks and are there times when you do worry what god thinks about you that goes back to this idea you might know that god loves you but do you also believe that God likes you? So think about that, and we're going to get to it on the weekend here at church, at all the services. We'll see you here at St. Mary's. Peace.